Well, Mark, first of all, welcome to Stockport County, part of the new management team. It's, it's happened very quickly, but how pleased are you to be here now? Yeah, it uh, happened fairly quickly. You know, I got a phone call from Simon on uh, Sunday and uh, literally from there. So, um, yeah, delighted to be here. Uh, very excited to be here. The, um, the, the way it's been described to me, the project that's, you know, that's almost just starting. Um, and you know my own uh, ambitions, as it were, for Simon. Um, I think this is a brilliant place for him to start his managerial career and really, really make a big impact. Tell us about your your role within the new setup. How do you see your your involvement? Well, like any assistant, I'll take my cue from the manager. You know, so in a sense, we've still got to learn exactly how that's going to work. You know, I've only ever been an assistant once, and that was to Gordon Strachan with the Scottish national team. And Gordon and I are best mates, you know, so that worked fairly well and I kind of understood. And it was a different role with the national team. This is different in the sense that um, I've never had this role, but as a manager of nearly a thousand games, I know what I want as a manager, therefore what I intend to do is to give him what I think I would have wanted, you know. And, you know, he'll have his say that and he'll adjust and we'll find ways of working and I'll find jobs to do and we'll work around it. So as we sit today... We don't have a clear picture exactly how it's going to work, but we've got every confidence that it will work. And it's not as if you're coming in blind, because you, you're good pals, actually, aren't you? Yes, we, well, you know, Simon and I both live in the south coast, and uh, we meet up. He's been at uh, Brighton, obviously. I live in Brighton. He's been at Brighton as the under-21 coach. And over the last few years, we meet for coffee and we talk about football, and I go to the occasional under-23 games, you know, and not exactly mentoring him, but, you know, I've been in touch with him for a long time, and we've talked about the possibility that one day this would happen, that he would take a job and that he's would want me to come and help him, and that's exactly what's happened. Simon's probably, it's fair to say, a little bit under the radar, perhaps, but in terms of you, um, your profile, domestic, European success as a player, and of course, as a manager, you've won titles with, with Reading and Millwall, um, took Brighton up to the Championship as well. Do you do you see the potential for County to move in a, a similar direction? I, I think I do, because of the regime that's now running the, the, the show here, the, 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 um, the owners, um, and the, the local, you know, and that's such an important thing, you know, they're not come from you know um abroad or you know wherever the, the local guys who want the club to do well and have huge ambitions for the club and i think that's as much as anything that's sold simon this isn't just a straightforward um national league job where the most important thing is although it means the most important thing is to win on saturday you know there are other bigger grander schemes going on in the background which i think is the thing that makes them really exciting you're no stranger to County and certainly no stranger to Edgeley Park. And I can remember you coming oh, it's over 20 years ago now with Millwall, 4 0 up at half time. You won the game 4 0 that day. You've been to County with, with Wolves and Reading as well. And how, I just wonder how big a factor the chance is to come and work in front of those fans in the future because um, you've obviously experienced the, the famous Cheadle end in full voice. It's quite, a, it's quite an experience. Yeah, well, you know, in my mind, um, you know, Stockport County are not a National League team. You know, it, what, at worst they should be around the First Division, sort of, you know, trying to get in the Championship, maybe getting in the Championship, you know. And the, 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 the status of the club and the, the fans, the way they are, the supporters, the way they are, the, 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 the typical of a club. You know, they're not absolutely typical, but, but, but the, the, the type of club it is, they have that passion, you know, that local passion, which, as I said already, I think is really important that the new owners you know, have that as well, you know, but I, I think um, once fans can come back in, once supporters come back in, then I think Simon in particular will be blown away by the sort of power of the kind of enthusiasm that the, the Stockport supporters have. Just finally, we've only had a brief moment to chat this morning, but you are clearly buzzing about this. You're really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, I've not taken any job because, you know, just for the sake of it, ever. Um, I want to make a contribution. Um, I very much want to be part of this. You know, I've heard it described the ambition that the, the club has and I'd love to be um, along for that ride. I think it's very exciting and I'd love to see the emergence of, you know, the next great uh, manager. We're all looking forward to it. Mark, welcome to Stockport Council. Thank you very much.